In the main challenge is to remove over unexplained wealth. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Senator Ali Indume has urged President Bola Tenebu to enact an executive order addressing unexplained wealth. Indume, the legislature representing Borono South within the ruling All Progressives Congress, EPC, made the suggestion following a statement by the retired Supreme Court Justice Musa Mohammed Dijo regarding the extent of corruption within the country's judiciary. The lawmaker emphasized that there exist legal frameworks in the United Kingdom and other regions to address such matters. He further noted his attempt to introduce views pertaining to this issue. I have tried several times, but you know, there are excuses here and there, he said on channel television Sunday Politics. I think the best way to get this across is when the bill comes from the executive or, in the interim, the current president should sign an executive bill on ex on. on Unexplained wealth. According to Indume, the level of unexplained wealth in the country, especially among politicians and civil servants, requires some laws to combat. I know of civil servants that live in houses that not only their income, their salaries, or their life pension, as they will live in this world for 90 or 100 years, cannot buy, Senator Indume added. The same thing with some of our politicians, especially the politically exposed persons like ministers. You find, as he rightly said, some of them come to the National Assembly and suddenly there is so much money. Reiterating that politicians are public servants, he called on the public to hold them accountable. Well, I will partially accept what you said. And Dume said, when asked if the lawmakers have failed to pass bills to curb the trend of unexplained, unexplained wealth in the country. The public are those that are supposed to put us on our toes to present them an account for action. The senator added, you see, this thing with Senator Ndome talk, he taught to me. He give me, he get a kind thing where he do me for body. But alas, I just wish it's not just by coming out to say it. I wish that we actually come out and take his advice and hold those people accountable. Sincerely, just like he said, judging from, judging from, okay, let's say for instance, some civil servant. Let's say they work for 90 to 100 years. Some people, the kind of money we then get, the kind of house where they live, the kind of vehicles they drive, they cannot be able to make it. This is not swear. These people are not into business. They are civil servants. Meaning, what is the basic salary coming out? What is the basic salary now? 30,000. Let's say in the offices, let's say the, the highest they pay them is 200,000. Or three hundred thousand. Now tell me, you go into the houses. They're living in a luxurious house. In fact, they're living in the best particular part of that particular city, in the best kind of buildings. They have the best kind of cars. Their children attend the best kind of schools. <laughs> it is enough to call these people and say, "Oh, how did you they just get their money?" To me, I support Senator in the on this one. Even though people are going to come out and say, "Why you not talk this thing?" When Buhari be the president. <laughs> to be sincere. Do you understand? <laughs> People will say, why you not talk this thing when Buhari not president? Or why you not really come as I come start from your region? The attack senators within your region. At least hold those one accountable first. Why do you need to ask this relationship? I mean the quest this question before now. Where have you been since these things fall apart? The relationship can no longer... Do you understand? Now, from some people's point of view, they are going to see it as Senator Ndume Ali trying to attack them. Trying to come out and say, okay, make them come outside. Can't they spend their words of gold? Do you understand? <laughs> Those who come to equity must come with clean hands. Atonimbo has clean. Let him sign on the Spring World Executive Bill. To be the first culprit, even you in the not just to this is not about to know alone, this is about every one of us, each and every one of us. Good question. Someone who is richer than Nigeria and bought virtually everyone politically. Why they need to ask this? Okay, to know should explain first his wealth, an international non drug pusher, and Lagos political thief. You could just die for nothing upon your hatred of your fellow human being for nothing. 
the bill will affect all across the board, including in Dume itself. So what is your Buraha party particular person? It's you, Obi, who converted Anambra money to his family's broken and pure. What you concern be for this one? It will be a senator. Now, why not so much? How can the public hold the people accountable for it when there is conspiracy between the free arms of government? We are not the people that elect you people. You are elected by the INEC and the judiciary, so you are only accountable to them. We are not operating a great democratic system of government in Nigeria. These are self-imposed people in government, only accountable to themselves. Sincerely, most of these people, both those who are senators, I kid you not, they are what? They are self-imposed. I agree with what this person talk. So yes, we they start to the hold waiting themselves accountable. Can Tinubu summon enough courage to fight corruption, part of which is unexplainable and unquestionable and questionable wealth, without having to explain also the billion vans that have been found in Bodolan? Can he, who his hands are not clean enough, go to property? Well, this is not only about Tinubu here. This is not only about Tinubu. This is about people, most especially senators, House of Rep members, House of Reps members. Okay, how can Tenebo enact the executive order for people to explain the source of what when he himself has not been able to explain his own, his own in the last 20 years? So can you now see where we are going with this? This is this is why things cannot work in Nigeria. So because the law has not enacted in Tenebo's time, so therefore Tenebo does not have the right to enact it. Can you see yourself with the way you think? So you think Tenebo can indict himself? For Tenebo to enact such law, don't you think he will have to first explain the source of his own humongous wealth and that of his Senate President Sapagyu. Are you aware that the Senate President was invited by EFCC just a month ago and he refused the invitation on the pretext that he was sick? But now he's not sick. He's gallivanting everywhere, telling everybody he's a Senate President. When the people allow allotted hedge huge salaries and allowances to yourself against Nigeria's constitution, where you apparently took over the duties of the executive salaries and wages commission to fix fabulous extravagant income to yourselves house of reps members you forgot to mention the costly jeeps you people recently purchased for yourselves in spite of in spite of the fact that there is no money in nigeria almost all of us are suffering especially parliamentarians high executives and judicial officers eating deep to our common resources too bad <laughs> All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. So say thank you for telling me to listen until I come away next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.